this is Carol from Roundabout the Hoosier Homestead and I had a request to make onion broth so I will be doing that today. Uh, just to give a quick update on my project pantry. I ended up buying a chicken on um, Wednesday and I uh, braised the chicken then canned up the meat and am making chicken broth now so that was part of my project pantry. I also um, canned up some green, some black beans, excuse me, today. So right now I am just dividing up um, my little onion bits into two different pots. Um, one is I think a five quart, the other is I want to say three quart. So we am doing that here. I made onion soup last week so I've got some onion bits left over from that. That's more or less all of them. I already put water in the pot, so we don't have to worry about that. Let me get this spoon out here, because the next thing I'm going to do is uh, put garlic in these. Now, I'm not great at splicing video together, so I'll just kind of show you how I'm putting this together, and then I'll show you a can that I did the other week, so you can see what it looks like when it's done. But I'll be putting about, eh, I would say about a teaspoon or so of garlic into that one and just under a teaspoon into the smaller one and then I have bay leaves and I'm gonna put two bay leaves in the bigger pot and one bay leaf in the smaller pot so got that going now I also have some pepper and some salt and I'm going to add just a few little grind up some pepper here few times <laughs> get that going and put in some of my Himalayan sea salt or Himalayan salt I guess I should say it's not really Himalayan sea salt because Himalayas are mountains and as far as I know nowhere near the sea so <laughs> excuse a little Freudian slip there anyway got some salt and pepper going in that now what I'm going to do is boil these, so it's basically onion skins and little bits of leftover onion, some garlic, a bay leaf or two, and then salt and pepper. And then I'm going to boil them and as soon as they start boiling I will turn them down to a simmer, cover them and let them cook probably a little over an hour. I'm going to be running my dishwasher to get the cans ready, and or get the jars ready I guess I should say. And then once the jars are done, I can can up that in the chicken broth and put those in the canner. And when it gets done, this is what it will look like. Um, kind of a nice, deep, orangey yellow. And uh, I combined it with some... I, I used it with it when I was making onion soup the other week, and it turned out really well. So, anyway, that's basically it. It's not too complicated at all. Just combine the ingredients and then, you know, drain off the little bits and pieces before you put them in jars because you don't want any floaties in the jars <laughs> so as much as possible strain those out but uh, anyway yeah that's about it so hopefully everyone's having a great day feel free to like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later bye